Who will be the first to respond? The first to win the first ever First Responder Bowl. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down a bowl games as now we have cleared the Christmas holiday and uh, the Power Five will be in play. We've only seen a Wake Forest out of the ACC and Arizona State out of the Pac-12 in terms of Power Five teams, but now we will see a glut of Power Five matchups. This one, of course, a group of five against a Power Five as Boston College takes on Boise State. The Broncos come in at number 25 in the nation, 10-3, and 7-1 and one in the Mountain West. They were on a roll and look to be the best team in the Mountain West after defeating Utah State, but uh, suffered a disappointing loss at home on the blue turf in the Mountain West Championship game against Fresno State in overtime. For Boston College, they finished uh, poorly. They were 7-2. and two. They had Clemson at home looking to steal the Atlantic Division away from the heavily favored Tigers. They went down in that game 27-7. to seven. They lost at Florida State to a horrendous Florida State edition, 22-21. Then they came, came back home. Not only did they lose to Syracuse, which is not surprising, but uh, in playing for a better bowl status, basically the number two seed in the ACC, they got blown out at home against Syracuse, 42-21. All right, let's get to the matchups here. But first, uh, a little history on the first responder bowl. This is the heart of Dallas Bowl which was the Ticket City Bowl that was established in 2011 to be played at the Cotton Bowl. So this is technically the same bowl game, but because the sponsor's name is the only part of the bowl game to be named, it's not like the Peach Bowl, Cotton Bowl, Gator Bowl, Sugar Bowl that is sponsored by so-and-so. The entire name of the bowl game changes. So do we really consider this the same bowl game? So it is the old Heart of Dallas Ticket City Bowl. Boise State's a two-and-a-half-point favorite, but keep in mind, they have lost seven players to season-ending injuries, including two of their top nine tacklers, and they are facing A.J. Dillon, who might be well-rested now and ready to really show himself after, for him, a subpar 2018 season. Coming off of uh, over 1,600 yards rushing last season, 17 touchdowns, and, of course, he did most of that damage as a freshman in the second half of the season in which he emerged as possibly the best back in college football, came back this year, was hobbled due to some injuries, missed three games, and uh, comes into the game at 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns. Up against a Boise State front seven that's a bit undersized, but that features two playmakers in Curtis Weaver with 15 tackles for loss and nine and a half sacks, and also Jabril Frazier, who has nine tackles for loss and five and a half sacks. If Dylan gets spelled in this game, it'll be David Bailey, who averaged four and a half yards per carry and uh, 253 rushing yards and three touchdowns. And also, they like to run it from the wide receiver position with David Glines on the jet sweep. 68 times for him uh, did he carry the ball, five and a half yards per carry and three touchdowns. Interesting matchup there that could play uh, into the um, decision here. As we look elsewhere on the BC offense, of course, it goes back to Anthony Brown. He was knocked out of the Clemson game in the first quarter, uh, threw 20 touchdowns this year with nine interceptions, 55% passer. He's a bit scattershot. He's had some, uh, he really looked good early in the season, really grew and advanced and progressed from his freshman 2017 campaign, and then a bit banged up and faltered down the stretch along with the rest of the team. He goes up against, again, a Boise State defense that's a bit depleted in this one. Brett Rippon, 30 touchdown passes, seven picks for Boise State, playing in his final collegiate game, has had an exceptional career for the Broncos. Had his worst game of the season, though, in the Mountain West Conference Championship game against Fresno State, 15 of 31 in that game. He goes up against a BC defense That gives up yardage through the air, 248 per game, but also takes advantage of mistakes. They are ball hawks, led by Hamp Cheevers, with a nation-leading seven interceptions. The defense has picked picked off 18 passes. That leads the nation. So it's either going to be ripping, ripping up the BC secondary, or... They make a few mistakes and and take advantage of a few mistakes 
to turn over Boston Cal or turn over uh, Boise State. Third down, huge always, but especially with these two teams, as BC is one of the underperforming teams in the nation on third down, and Boise State, one of the best teams in the nation on third down. Third in the country, converting 53% of their third downs are the Broncos. BC, on the other hand, uh, can't stay on the field offensively and had issues getting off the field on third down defensively. Zach Allen, one of the best players in the ACC with uh, 15 tackles for loss and six and a half sacks. And Wyatt Ray, a guy that, though Allen has been the star and was known coming into the season, Wyatt Ray certainly emerged and uh, jumped off the screen in the games that I saw BC play, which was Clemson, Miami, most of the Wake Forest game. I saw the fourth quarter against Florida State. I saw the NC State game. Wyatt Ray with nine sacks to lead the team and 11 and a half tackles for loss. Uh, it's imperative that Allen and Ray make big plays on first and second down in particular, put Boise State behind the chains and challenge that 53% success rate on third down. Alexander Madison, a beast for Boise State, 1,400 yards, 17 touchdowns. He goes up against a uh, defense that, in addition to Allen and Ray, the top two tacklers are, of course, Isaiah McDuffie with 85 stops and Connor Strachan, 91 total tackles, one of the best players on defense in the ACC. If it comes down to a field goal, you might have to bank on a field goal miss. Colton Lichtenberg, 5 of 8 for BC, and uh, Hayden Hogarth, only 12 for 20, 60%. For Boise State, BC, Boise State, Broncos, a two and a half point favorite. I love this game. I love this matchup. I think it's going to be an intriguing game in Dallas. And I like Boise State pulling off the victory 27 to 23, despite some injury issues. I think they're a little bit too versatile on offense and will avoid Brett Rippon in his final game with his experience making the crucial mistake against a ball hawking BC secondary. My thoughts on the game, my prediction right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please your please leave your predictions down in the comments section as well. And we will see you soon right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.